boy is dead. He was just a sweet kid. They didn't kill him, okay? Why kill a boy? I don't know. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. No, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the June fire or the site fire or...? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About how all this stuff is connected. The surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's gotta be a reason. Does there? Maybe. Maybe not. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Well, fuck. Uh, for starters, I guess you could find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Alright, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Oh, forget it. Be safe, Henry. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout.
Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. The winters are harsh as hell, and... I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and... Delilah, she's a, she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids, all right? Nobody knows, nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. I guess he's been dumping trash up here for a while. He held on to some of Brian's things, his wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. He... God. What? Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. Brian was a nice-looking kid. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. He wrote down everything he did to us, and everything he did every day. He was scared shitless.
you should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing. Fast. It's gonna burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. This boombox looks familiar. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. He had quite the view. I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Lila, I, I think it was an accident. And I don't think Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. And how'd that turn out, Henry? I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <sighs> D? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. 